Kiara. Welcome back to Seventh Place. And if you are new here, this is a visual storybook of Bliss, a creative soul who documents her life, art, and well, Bliss. This is another chapter. Shall we begin? As a creative, procrastination is my constant struggle. It has been a habit for quite some time. And I'm pretty sure there are also individuals who are experiencing the same. However, blame not yourself because for some reasons, procrastination is becoming a habitual response to stress, fear, or boredoms. Over time, it becomes a learned behavior that is difficult to break without conscious effort. Furthermore, in today's digital world, constant distractions from technology like social media make it easy to procrastinate as people can easily get sidetracked. Let me tell you a little story how extreme my procrastination habit is. So September last year, we took a trip to Mount Hot to experience No as an individual coming from a tropical country. For us, it was a special trip which I was hoping to put an effort to relieve in my paintings. But it did not happen because guess what? Procrastination. Perhaps I got overwhelmed, overworked, and stressed. Okay, I'm just making excuses. Anyway, somehow at the back of my head, I was still planning to make it happen. It's just no action was made until today. So here I am, one year later, finally taking courage to somehow beat that procrastination. In this chapter, I will be painting a piece of my memory from our trip to Mount Hot. There was a snowstorm that day, and what was stuck in my core was how magical the place looked under a snowfall. Everything was white and fluffy. For me, that was pure magic to have experienced snowstorm for the first time. Fresh powdery snow on my feet, Snowflakes dropped in my hair, mountain peaks and gondolas fading in the distance, having been enveloped by heavy snow falling from the skies. For some reason, that was the picture in my head every time I looked back to this trip. Thus, that particular scene is what I want to relieve in my painting piece today. And while I finish this piece and share snippets of our little adventure, let me share some helpful tips I learned and yet to learn on overcoming procrastination as a creative. Overcoming procrastination as an artist often requires balancing creativity with discipline. Here are tailored strategies specifically for artists. Set small creative goals. Large projects can feel daunting, which leads to procrastination. So break down your art projects into smaller, achievable goals such as sketch for 15 minutes or mix colors. Create 
create a daily art habit. Consistency helps overcome procrastination. Commit to making art every day, even if it's just a small piece or a rough sketch. This builds momentum and reduces the pressure to create a masterpiece every time. Embrace imperfection. Artists often procrastinate due to perfectionism. Accept that not every piece will be perfect. Let go of the need for flawless results and allow yourself to experiment, make mistakes, and improve over time. Set timers for focused work. Use the Pomodoro technique where you focus on art for a set time, for example, 25 minutes, and take short breaks. Knowing you have limited time can increase focus and reduce procrastination. Incorporate play and experimentation. Sometimes the fear of producing serious art leads to procrastination. So give yourself permission to play, try new techniques, or work on experimental projects that don't have high stakes. Create a dedicated art space. Having a clean, organized space for your art makes it easier to start. Avoid using this space for other activities so that when you enter it, your mind shifts into creative mode. Remove distractions. Identify what distracts you most while working, whether it's social media, noise, or clutter, and eliminate those distractions. Set deadlines for your art. Even if you don't have external deadlines, create your own. Give yourself specific dates to finish pieces or reach milestones in your creative process and hold yourself accountable. Use art challenges. Join monthly art challenges, for example, October, 100 days of drawing, or set your own challenges. Having a structured plan with a daily prompt keeps you motivated and accountable. Visualize the finished artwork. Envision how your art will look once completed and how rewarding the process will feel. This can provide the motivation you need to start or continue working on a piece. Start with a simple warm-up. If you're feeling stuck, Start with an easy, low-pressure warm-up like doodling or shading. This helps get your creative juices flowing and reduces the pressure of creating something big. Find an accountability partner. Partner with a fellow artist or friend who can check in on your progress. Share your goals with each other and motivate one another to stay on the track.
work on multiple pieces at once. If you're feeling blocked on one project, switch to another. Sometimes rotating between different art pieces keeps the creative energy flowing and prevents burnout or procrastination. Engage in inspiration activities. If procrastination is caused by a lack of inspiration, engage in activities that stimulate your creativity. Visit galleries, explore nature, read, or listen to music. These experiences can fuel your artistic energy. Keep an art journal. Use an art journal to sketch, jot down ideas, and reflect on your creative process. Writing about your feelings of procrastination can help identify blocks, and keeping an art journal keeps you connected to your craft, even on uninspired days. Limit the planning stage. Artists often overthink the planning process. Spend less time obsessing over perfect concepts and dive into creating, even if you don't have everything figured out. After all, art is often a process of discovery. Focus on progress, not perfection. Concentrate on making progress no matter how small. Each stroke or mark on your canvas is a step forward, and over time, those small efforts accumulate into completed work. By applying these techniques, you can manage procrastination in a way that suits your artistic process, while balancing creativity with the discipline to finish projects. That's it for today's painting, tips on beating procrastination, and a little glimpse of the snowy wonderland of Mount Hot. Take care, and I'll see you again.